Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how to cut cellophane using your Cricut machine. My brother-in-law wanted to put some colored filters over some round lights, and he asked for my help making these. And I'm happy to report it was a lot easier to cut cellophane with my Cricut than I expected. There were only a few hiccups along the way. Need to do is figure out the size and shape of whatever it is you're cutting so you can set up your cut file in Cricut Design Space. Mine was just an 8 inch circle so all I did was go into the shape section of the canvas, select the circle, and go up to the size field in the toolbar at the top here and set the width to 8 inches. I used my light grip mat so that it would be as easy as possible to remove the thin cellophane and I found the easiest way to get it on the mat was kind of like laying out a blanket. I kind of tossed it up and over and then gently lowered it onto the mat and applied some pressure with my hands. You'll notice that there are some wrinkles in it. I found that the folds actually didn't affect the end result of the shape at all, so don't worry too much about getting it to lay perfectly flat on the mat. Once you're ready to make your project, you can hit Make It from your canvas screen. Cricut Design Space will automatically organize your shapes to save the most space, but you can move them around however you want to. Next, you want to make sure your machine is connected and set your base material. I found the acetate setting with default pressure worked perfectly. Depending on your machine and your blade, you may need to play around with this to find the perfect setting for you. Make sure your fine point blade tool is installed in clamp B, and then you want to load your mat into your machine and start the cut. The acetate setting did two cuts over the circle instead of just one, and like I said, that seemed to work perfectly for this cellophane. Once the cuts are done, you can unload your mat and weed the excess cellophane. I found that the hook tool and the metal spatula tool both worked really well to lift the cellophane off the mat. And here you can see that it came out as a perfect circular shape even though there were those wrinkles in it when I laid down the cellophane before the cut. Hopefully whatever shape you're cutting won't be affected by those wrinkles either. One thing to note if you are using colored cellophane like I did, is that there is a right side and a wrong side to put down on the mat. One side of my cellophane felt glossy and then the other side had a bit of a chalkier texture to it, and the chalkier side is what has the color on it. You want to put the glossy side down on the adhesive and the textured side facing up. Unfortunately, I put a few of the sheets with the colored side down and left purple blotches all over my mat, which isn't the end of the world, but it also left clear blotches in the cellophane, so I had to redo those pieces so they wouldn't be patchy. So just something to keep in mind if you're using colored cellophane. Another thing to note is that because I went over the exact same shape 16 times and it cut twice, so really it was 32 times, I cut quite a deep notch in my mat in that spot. If I did that many cuts again, I might try to move it around the mat to different spots for each cut so that I don't make such a deep slice into it. Here is the final result. As you can see, all of my circles came out looking really good, despite the folds in the cellophane when I put them on the mat, and they don't seem to have suffered any damage from the mat adhesive, except for the ones that I laid colored side down. I thought because the cellophane is so thin, I might have some issues with tearing or peeling, but that didn't happen. It was way easier than I expected. I hope this video helped you. If you would like to see some more Cricut tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next. See you later.